Hello, welcome to my workshop. In today's video, I want to show you how I made this nice little chisel box. So stick around. So I began by laying all my chisels out on my table saw just to kind of get a rough idea of the size that I wanted to shoot for. I ended up ultimately making it a little narrower than what you see now. And it was mainly just because I wanted to try to fit this in the smallest box possible. So once I had my measurements, I decided to go ahead and draw out a plan so I had something to shoot for and something to just look at while I was making all of the boards for the side and the bottom. For the sides and the bottom of my box, I decided to use this piece of half inch Baltic birch plywood that I had left over. So what I'm going to do to attach these sides is I'm going to make a rabid cut here that's going to let this board and set about a quarter inch and then on the sides here I'm going to make a dado that's going to receive a board that will slide into it as its cover. After cutting all of the rabbits, I wanted to give it a test fit just to see how the sides would fit. And they fit perfectly. So then for the sides, I just did a simple miter joint to go all the way around the edge. And for that, I used my special miter sled that I built for my table saw. So now I've got them all kind of just sitting here dry fitted to make sure everything is going to line up and work well and everything looks good. Now I want to make this so that my board will slip into the dado that I cut and to make that possible I'm going to take one of these and I'm actually going to just go ahead and cut this whole lip off. And now for the glue up and wait overnight for everything to dry.
for the drawer pull, what I'm going to actually use is a piece of hardwood. Actually, no, this is a soft wood, but I'm going to actually attach it to here just to match with everything else. But it won't be something that could possibly ever break off since it's one solid piece. And I'll use uh, this to pull the door open. Now that the glue is all dry, it's time to give it a nice sanding and then finish it with some spray lacquer. There we have it. It's all done. Everything fits perfectly and the door slides really nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, give me a thumbs up and give me a comment below Tell me if you liked it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.